Oh hi guys, welcome to another episode of Amnesia. Um, last time we left off, we were in this library that has seemed to be nothing but <clears throat> hallways. So let's continue exploring, shall we? <clears throat> There's nothing in this room. I think we were going that way. Yes, we were. More books, more books. That's all I freaking see. Ooh, important book. <clears throat> the Great Work. Gaber has been noted as one of the first alchemists to theorize the possibility of metal transmutation. His complete work, the 112, 112 books, have served as a guide for many notable alchemists, past and present. Among them is outlined the description of the Philosopher's Stone, believed to be the catalyst for completing the Great Work. The work itself composes the three main goals of modern alchemy, that is, the transmutation of lead into gold, the creation of, living, of a living homunculus, and the attainment of immortality. This reminds me of Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> it's locked. Okay, I better I better break that lock. Oh god. <clears throat> Ooh, plans. That opened up really quick. It was almost weird how freaking fast that door opened up. Eighteenth <clears throat> of November, seventeen hundred. It pains me to seal the clock so soon after its completion, but I had no choice. I thought I, had, I thought I had escaped from the college, but I should have known it was only a matter of time until they found me. I was forced to use all of my alkahest to fight the monsters off, searing their flesh, leaving none left to carry out my plan. <clears throat> I knew the monsters would return to break into the vault below, so I had no choice but to seal it. I also dressed one of the dead monsters in my clothes and hacked it to pieces. It may not be enough to fool them, but there is little else I can do. Even if, by chance, they break through my barriers, I thankfully have other means of defense. My guardians are not all powerful, but they should slow the monster's progress. Sam. <clears throat> Ooh, a key. I'm really glad I saw that. It would have sucked. I missed it. Hey, let me grab it. Cool. Alright. Looks like that's about it. Something has tried to break in. Ugh. Where do I go now? <clears throat> Sorry. <sighs> These fucking hallways, man. Um. bad's happened so far. It's almost a bad sign. If nothing bad has happened, you know something bad's going to happen. Let's try this one. Damn it! Are you sure? There was another locked door, wasn't there? I remember. At least it's not dark outside. The rain is soothing. <laughs> so many rooms. This was it. Found it. Open sesame. Yes. Dark. Dark, big. Okay, it's not as big as I thought. <clears throat> Scholars are divided on the origin of these practitioners, as their temples are spread all across Europe. Most prominent among the theories are that the religion sprung from early Persian or Zoroastrian Zoroastrian religions. Few materials survive from the early centuries, and they held no public ceremonies. Instead, offering instead offering to worship instead. Fuck, I can't read. Instead, offering to worship inside their Mithraeum, 
Many of these temples, sunken below the ground and windowless, remain hidden to this day. The rituals concentrated on sacred religious icons. The materials are unclear about their exact shape. Ooh, this doesn't look suspicious at all. Move. 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 Tip. Tip. No, you want to. Ah, uh, so close. Come on. Come on. Move. 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 I got pretty close to tipping for a little bit. Would have been way more dramatic. Okay. Break this shit open. What do you mean I can't eat? You break it. Mmm. What does it want me to use to break it? A book. Use the book to break it. Ugh. <laughs> I didn't do too much good. Don't. I know where it is. Alright, just let me in. Really have anything else to break it with? Curse you, bookshelf. Maybe this pot. <laughs> Heck, I tipped it over. I didn't work. Okay. So, plan B. Go find something hard. Hmm. There's nothing but freaking books in this place. What does it want from me? over here. <clears throat> Nothing but books and plants. More books and plants. Maybe a helmet of a suit of armor. Might be suitable. <laughs> Get it? Suitable. Anyways. Oh, damn. That's loud. Mother... Duck! Come on. Piece of orb. Piece of orb. Highly acidic liquid. No, I'm not gonna melt the wall. This sucks. <laughs> I should have seen this coming. This happens like every 10 minutes in this custom story. I get stuck on something stupid. I already looked in here, I already looked in there. I don't know about in here. It's a chair. It's not going to do me any good. Boxes, boxes won't do shit. <sighs> okay. I really don't know what to do now. There's nothing to break that wall with. Oh! Ooh, a hammer. <laughs> I that wouldn't make sense because I already have a hammer and a chipper. It's not working. Oh, worth a shot. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. 
<clears throat> this is a pain in the ass. It seems so simple. No. Oh, almost lost my hammer in there. Yes! Fuck yeah. I win. <laughs> this looks like some serious stuff. The long clock. With the help of the great engineers of the circle, my greatest creation has been realized. I have built a clock that tricks but once but ticks but once a year. The first dial advances at midnight on December thirty first. The second dial advances on the beginning of a new century. This clock will keep time accurately for the next ten thousand years. I have built it not to record what regular people perceive as time, but what the universe perceives. Deep time. This clock will continue to tick after I have died, after my family has disappeared from existence and civilizations have risen and fallen. Buried beneath the library, the gears have been crafted from the finest metals to resist corrosion over the centuries. The steam system is pressurized by weights of, on, of the drivers, which must be wound for the clock to display the proper time. When the drivers are raised, the clock is wound, and the gears will adjust the clock to display the current year, regardless of how long it has been unwound. That's cool. I don't understand the point, though. If He's gonna be dead and his family disappears and it's locked down here in this <laughs> secret basement area. Like a lot of good that does you. Ooh. That's never seen that before. Oh shit. Fuck, move. can't hide. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> what? They locked me in? the fuck? Okay. I see how it is. What? Where did this come from? I did not see that before. <laughs> Am I crazy? Did that appear out of nowhere? Ooh. This is interesting, to say the least. How much oil do I have left? Not quite yet. Okay. <gasps> Please. <laughs> I hate water. I hate it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not cool anymore. This is not cool. Fuck. Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> no, 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 This custom store anymore. God. Ah, oh, shit. Maybe if I just book it. Can't catch me. Can't catch me. Can't. It's not even appearing. This isn't as cool anymore. Oh, God. This is still scary. Is dropping. The fuck. I scared him away. I think. That's my manly scream. Why is my FPS dropping so bad? Really strange. 
Okay. So. Nothing useful in here. At all. That sounds weird. It's probably on this side now. This is the scariest part of any amnesia game, I swear. It's right there. It is right there. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. <laughs> nope. 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 Fuck you. Fuck you. <sighs> okay. I think. Ha! Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Maybe I'm supposed to hop on these. Huh. <gasps> How do I even... <laughs> How do I... Ugh. I need to throw something at it. Can I like jump and grab it? And then die? That's what's gonna happen. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, yes! I got it, though. Now what? <laughs> How do I... Alright, well... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it here and conclude this episode. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Okay,